Hello there, you are welcome to my channel. In this video, we will be looking at the differences between vehicle speed sensor and transmission speed sensors. When you examine fuel injected engines on modern cars, you will notice that many sensors work together to inform the engine about what is happening. This is because the vehicle computer needs to understand that the wheels are turning well and if the engine is spinning and also ensure all component remains within specifications. Now, what is a vehicle speed sensor? The vehicle speed sensor, VSS, is a small component mounted on your vehicle's transmission, allowing the vehicle's onboard computer to understand how fast the car is moving. So, how does the speed sensor work? The speed sensor measures the rotational speed of all gears and the transmission system. The vehicle's speed sensor helps convert the rotational speed measurement of all gears into an analog signal. Which means that it sends it to the electronic control units, ECUs, inside your vehicle. You should know that when this happens, the vehicle's ECUs will then use the signal to adjust the vehicle's speedometer readings, the transmission system, and the ABS module. So, what is a transmission speed sensor? A vehicle transmission speed sensor communicates directly to the ECU or TCU, which helps an automatic transmission understand what gear it should be on. However, there are two main types of transmission speed sensors, the first is the input shaft speed sensor, and the other is the output shaft speed sensor. The input shaft speed sensor measures the torque converter and speed of the input shaft, which matches the engine speed. The vehicle's output shaft speed sensor helps monitor the speed at the back of the transmission, which happens after the transmission's gear ratio is already applied. You must be wondering how you will know if the transmission sensor is bad, right? There are some signs you'll see when your transmission speed sensor is bad. These signs include the following. The first sign is failure of the cruise control. One of the speed sensor's duties is monitoring the input and output shaft speed. However, this isn't the only function of these sensors. Their duties also include checking the cruise control. The cruise control is a system that automatically controls the car's speed. Once the cruise control fails to work, it simply means the sensors have malfunctioned. Again, this also means that the PCM will transmit an error code to the ECU, which will shut it down. When this happens, you'll be required to consult your mechanic immediately to have your vehicle inspected. The second sign is improper or harsh shift. You will have issues shifting gears whenever no speed signals are coming from any of the sensors. This is because the powertrain control module, PCM, won't be able to control them correctly. When this happens, it will make the transmission not to work efficiently. Again, another issue caused by failed sensors happens in gear shift timing, which causes the interval between shifts to be extended. The third sign is the check engine light indicator. The check engine light is a vital component in a car. Whenever it illuminates, it means there's a problem with the car. However, you won't be able to tell if or not it comes from the transmission speed sensors except if you check. So, what happens when the transmission speed sensor goes bad? Whenever there's a loss of speed signals from all sensors, there will be a problem shifting gears. This is due to the inability of the powertrain control module, PCM, to control them efficiently. When this happens, it will make the transmission not to work well. However, it will either shift more quickly or roughly than expected. But another problem caused by bad sensors is gear shift timing, which will cause the interval between shifts to be extended. Another question to take note of is, how many speed sensors does a transmission have? In most modern cars, you will notice two transmission speed sensors, which can be found at the input shaft and another at the output shaft. The transmission speed sensors happen to be very important to its powertrain operation. The input and output sensors help calculate the transmission's actual gear ratio while in use. So usually, two sensors communicate the transmission data to a car's powertrain control module. Meaning, the input sensor, which is the first sensor, monitors the speed of the transmission's input shaft. At the same time, the output sensor is the second, which monitors the output shaft speed. Whenever those sensors aren't working well, the cruise control may not work well, causing the vehicle's transmission to shift roughly or sluggishly, or the speedometer may malfunction. Can a bad wheel speed sensor cause transmission problems? The transmission systems are essential components in a car. Whenever it starts to malfunction, it simply means there is a serious issue that must be handled carefully. 
However, all parts of a vehicle are interconnected. But when one of them begins to malfunction, it means that others may follow suit, leading to a complete breakdown of the vehicle. First, you need to understand the various sensors mounted in your transmission that control various functions. There are different sensors, such as the brake light switch, wheel speed sensor, throttle position sensor, transmission speed sensor, or coolant temperature sensor. These help ensure that your transmission is perfectly working at its optimal level. How long can you drive a car with a bad speed sensor? First, you need to know the duty of speed sensors. This would give you a clearer view of how long you can drive whenever all of the speed sensors go bad. But on modern cars, there are tech integrated systems that allow faulty speed wheel sensors to bring a vehicle to a halt. I hope this video was convincing enough for you to know that a vehicle speed sensor is essential to ensure the proper function of the cruise control, speedometer, and transmission, making them work well. Conclusively, when you drive with an alarming speed sensor, you won't be able to know how fast you're going, and this could compromise your safety. So, make sure not to allow this to happen to you, and also make sure to contact a mechanic to inspect your wheel speed sensor and replace it if necessary. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comments box below. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share.